What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. I briefly mentioned encrypted communication options in my last video and that will be the topic of today's video. This will be accomplished using LoRa devices and I've seen these T-Beam devices shown on a lot of other radio related channels but I've yet to see mention of these alternative devices from Rock Wireless that have been my favorite for fixed location deployment. So hang around and we'll take a look at this and how you can build one for yourself. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. As I mentioned in the intro, there's a number of radio related channels who have talked about these T Beam LoRa devices running the Mesh Tastic firmware. Also, from what I've seen on the Prepper channels, they also just mentioned the T Beams as well. So I see this as a good opportunity to introduce what has been my favorite LoRa device, the WizBlock. The T-Beams work great in portable and mobile setups, but the WizBlock is an alternative that I really like that works better for fixed applications, but also not a bad choice for mobile as well. I prefer the WizBlock as it's modular, so you only add the options that you need. The T-Beam, for example, has built-in GPS, which makes sense for mobile applications, but is not necessary for a fixed setup. The WizBlock, on the other hand, does not. So if all you need is the lower radio, then all you need to do is connect to just that module. But if GPS is something you need, you can also add the GPS module if you want to use the WizBlock for mobile setup. There's also a WizBlock Mesh-tastic starter kit that comes with the WizBlock and the lower module for Mesh-tastic firmware already loaded on it if you want to get up and running quickly. Another great thing about the WizBlock is its built-in solar charge controller, which is great for my application as it uses solar power. To do this with a T-Beam, you would need to purchase a separate solar charge controller. Now, if you're not familiar with Mesh-tastic, it's basically firmware that you load onto these LoRa devices coupled with an app that you download on either your iPhone or Android phone. Your phone connects to the LoRa device using Bluetooth, then you're able to send text messages in your location to other devices within range using the LoRa radio. Not only that, all of the devices interconnect and create a mesh network, hence the name Mesh-tastic. This is all done off-grid, no cell service, or internet is required, which makes this a great option for grid-down communication or a way to communicate in remote areas where there's no cell service. So that's Mesh-tastic, but if you're not familiar with LoRa, I'll give you the basics of it without getting too deep into the weeds. But if you do want to get deeper into it, there's a great video that I found that I'll share in the video description. LoRa, which stands for Long Range, is a unique radio protocol based on chirp spread spectrum that allows for long range, low speed communications, and at low power levels. Here in the US, the max power of these devices is limited to one watt, but we're still able to reach much further than other radio signals as LoRa is able to detect signals hidden well below the noise floor. It's able to do this with these long sweeping up chirps and down chirps that encode the data. These chirps can be 125 kHz, 250 kHz, or even 500 kHz wide which is what allows for the LoRa radio doing the receiving to really cut through the noise and detect and decode signals beneath the noise floor. So why use Mesh-tastic for off-grid and emergency comms? The first reason I'll list is of course the main reason for this video, encrypted communications. Mesh-tastic uses secure AES-256 encryption which is the same encryption that you'll find on these encrypted Motorola radios but at a much easier cost to entry and ease of use. These Motorola radios just keep going up in price and that's just the radio itself. You still need to get a key loader to load the encryption keys to the radio, which can cost twice as much as the radio itself. While you of course lose the voice comm ability with Mesh-tastic, if that's not a requirement, then Mesh-tastic is a much cheaper and easier way to get the same level of privacy. The next reason will be it's license-free and ease of use. 
I'm sure we all have a friend or a significant other that has zero desire to get a ham radio license. Well, this is an easy and familiar way to get some form of off-grid emergency communications with them. We all have cell phones these days, and downloading and using the Meshtastic app has little to no learning curve associated with it. The hardest part is just building and configuring the device itself. But even that it isn't all that difficult and can be left to you, the radio expert, to do. The final reason I'll mention here is these devices are pretty much set it and forget it. They require little to no maintenance and will keep running as long as you can get light hitting the solar panel. Now this reminds me of something I should mention. Uh, when you first start looking at these devices, you may come across these little solar boxes designed specifically for WizBlock. We've tested a number of these and unfortunately the little solar panel on them is just barely enough to keep the battery charged. Add some days of cloudy weather and you'll find the battery will drop over time and given enough cloudy days you'll eventually lose power to the device. This is why I've started making these custom solar powered boxes myself. Better yet, these custom boxes end up being about the same price as the WizBlock specific boxes and just require a little bit of elbow grease. That'll do it for this intro video, but here I have all the parts needed to build one of these custom solar powered Meshtastic boxes. And in my next video, we'll go over all the parts needed and go through the process of building one for yourself. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one.